Rochester Institute of Technology and world-renowned designers Massimo and Lella Vignelli begin a new era in the university's history with the opening of the Vignelli Center for Design Studies. RIT broke ground on the center in 2008. We came visiting here many years ago and we saw how they were using their archive. And that is the thing that really moved me. The facility features exhibition space and an archive of the couple's design work, spanning decades and mediums. World famous architect Richard Meyer believes the Vignelli Center will attract tourists. I think people are going to come here from all over to see this in the same way that they will go to the museum. It's the most beautiful exhibition area that I've seen in a long, long time. Revered by both their peers and budding designers, hundreds of people attended the dedication of the Vignelli Center. We represent today just the beginning of the generations of students who will grow and succeed because of the Vignelli's mission to pass on their timeless knowledge through the center. The Italian-born designers have been friends and supporters of RIT since the early 1980s, when Roger Remington, the Vignelli Distinguished Professor of Design, invited Massimo Vignelli to be the keynote speaker at a design history conference. He was uh, aware of our interest here in, in, in design history and, and history theory and criticism as part of our academic program in, in design. And I think it kind of all came together when it came time for them to decide on what to do with their collection. The Museum of Modern Art and the National Museum of Design were among the cultural institutions interested in the Vignelli's archive, but the Vignelli said no. At RIT, their work will be a daily resource for students and scholars. The material is used every day for teaching here. And so the material in the archive is alive. It's not dead. It's not in the basement. It's not in an in a attic. For students like Cassandra Angarosa, having access to their original designs and finished pieces enhances the learning experience. Nothing will ever compare to seeing the real, like, physical work, like being in the physical presence, being able to touch it and like really see it. It's just a completely immersive experience unlike just looking at a picture. The architecture of the center reflects the Vignelli philosophy, simple, modern, and minimal. The facility is comprised of two basic cubes, each three stories tall. One cube is glass to exhibit their work to the public, while the brick cube holds their archive. This is just one small area of the Vignelli archives. Here you see some of their 3D work, including their furniture designs. And over here on these shelves, their original source materials, including sketchbooks. These drawers are filled with Vignelli design posters, all sorted individually by client. This is so massive right here. Plans are in the works to create a master's degree program in design studies. For the Vignellis, knowledge of the past is how you create good design for the future. This place will become a magnet for all scholars. Thank you. Before I start crying. For Campus Connection, Kelly Downs, RIT University News.